everyone, this is Sam, and today I bring you the strongest endgame and overall build in Ghost of Tsushima. I guarantee you will not find a better build on YouTube than this one. Look at what I'm doing here and look at how every single enemy in Act 3 endgame on lethal mode is petrified on what I call the Fire Ghost build. So if you enjoyed today's tutorial, please share and like. And if you would like to see more Tsushima tutorials, just make sure to subscribe. And if you want to catch up on the previous one, there's a playlist in the description of all the tutorials I've made on this game. So I'm very excited to bring this to you guys because this is the best build in the game. It will not be better. So make sure you have your charm set up like this while you also wear the ghost armor. And I'll break down exactly why all of this just works. So what you're really doing is you have the two Charm of Fortunes to pretty much give a 100% chance to everything else. But you're using the Charm of Fire Doctrine where burning triggers terrify. And you're also combining that with the Nokami which is a 25% boost to anything that has a possibility of trigger terrify. So essentially after the map, burning or killing an enemy gives you a 70% chance to terrify independently. So they happen separately. So when I burn an enemy, especially with something like an explosive arrow, where I can burn up to five, six enemies at once, and I can also assassinate them after they're burning, with the 70% chances being stacked, there is no way not everybody will be terrified. And Jin has so many tools that burns, if you think about it. It's not just the explosive arrows. It's also the flaming arrow, the way of the flame, his uh, bombs. But the flaming arrow will be great in like a small group incident. You can see I burn that guy, which stuns him. And then I terrify this guy. And as I terrify, kill this guy, 70% chance I scare somebody else. You can see the guy on the far back there is scared. The burning guy is open to assassination. That's another 70% chance of scaring someone else. This guy doesn't know what to do. I finish him off, that's another 70% chance somewhere else. And when a big group comes and I can't, you know, take out an explosive arrow quick fast enough, what I can do is I can use the way of the flame versus groups, which has about like a five second time meter, and everybody I hit it gets on fire. So you can see I light that guy on fire, I terrified three guys. Three guys are terrified. And as they're terrified, they are an easy defeat. So when I stab them on the ground, that triggers another kill, just everything. It's over after this. Fire arrows and flame sword is a deadly combo. Obviously, explosive arrow versus large groups. But when it's something small like this, you're not really even aiming to, you know, defeat them. You're just trying to light them on fire. So it scares this guy. You can see there's the leader right there. I shoot him right at the elbow chest area. Lights them on fire. This guy gets terrified. And that kill has a 70% chance to terrify somebody else. Large group again, no time for explosive arrows, no worry. Take out that way of the flame and just start swinging away. And you can see everybody is petrified. Some of these guys are terrified off the kills. Like they're running away so fast I can't even chase them down. And that guy's down. And when there's a one-on-one -on -one situation, right? I just can aim the stagger and on lethal. After you stagger someone, it's actually a very fast kill. So that guy's also terrified off the kill. 70% chance of burning and kills is OP. Now, uh, for some of you who like to make some even bigger changes, you can also add in the Charm of Susanu, and you can replace that with over the Nokami or the Charm of Healing. So this will also give you another 60% chance to stagger knock down someone. So now you have like a 70% chance to terrify, 70% chance to terrify off just burning. You don't even have to kill anyone. And then you also have the Charm of Susanu, which has a 60% chance of knockdown, all because of the two Charm of Fortunes you're doing, right? Level 1 and 2. So even on lethal mode, this build has absolutely no issue. Like one-on-one, -on -one, you should be able to win the fight because as long as you select the correct stance, you're fine. But the simple fact that you don't have to really defeat anyone, you just have to, you know, ignite them to create, like, huge group terrified. Like, everyone is terrified here. Like, I have no one left to fight. Everyone is running away. Like, that guy's gone. <laughs> so, absolutely unstoppable endgame build. You can make some minor changes. If you like the Charm of Susanu, sure. If you don't, then you can just stick with the Nokami and just totally focus on fire like I'm doing here. You can see, like, it was a group of five and I think I, yeah, I scared all of them except the leader, but in this game, one-on-one, -on -one, no matter, you know, as long as you have your correct stance, you, you, you'll be okay one-on-one, -on -one, especially 
of so much resolve. As long as you're not surrounded in this game, you'll be fine. And because of the terrified, the insane amount of terrified this build. Oh my god, <laughs> everyone is scared. The insane amount of terrified this build can do. Just, I mean, it breaks it. But is it incredibly fun by the time you can build this up? Of course. So, uh, I will be doing the final boss fight on Lethal after this clip. So, uh, spoilers ahead. So, stop the video. You don't want to see any spoilers on the final boss fight. But I just want to show this to you guys so that you know this is an incredibly strong end game build and it will even work in the final boss fight. Uh, this is obviously, I'm going in with the Fire Terrified build. And as you can see, uh, yeah, it's on Lethal. It's crazy. So, that's the build. I'm going in right now with the ghost armor and these are my six charms to the final boss fight and you can see just how dominating it is even on lethal mode and end game. So stop the video now, here it comes. So this is by far the best end game build. Anyways, final warning, the final boss fight will begin. So if you don't want any spoilers, stop the video now. And you can see I have actually purposely went in with no resolve just to see if I can do it. And uh, so the explosive arrow obviously is gonna light people fire, hurt them very seriously, and it's gonna scare this guy. So that's already down. So that's one explosive arrow to take care of. I don't know how many of you guys because some of the people got scared at the back too, as you can see up there. So here comes uh, the Khan, and I mean because in this final boss, so he's really trying to surround you with you know multiple enemies, and the fact that he hits so hard on lethal, it's gonna be hard for you to win. But because of all the Terrify and the Fire Doctrines, I just scared everyone. See all the people on high ground, watch. As I light this guy on fire, everybody up in that balcony becomes terrified. Watch. They're already down. And except this guy, so I light him on fire too. Now everyone is scared. The Khan actually got a little bit scared, but I guess he doesn't have the Terrify trigger. So now I only have two guys left to fight, but because of all of that, I have my Ghost Meter of all those explosion, fire, and... Uh, Terrified because you can see that guy back there is terrified, so he's running away. This guy is very courageous, he's still good, but because I triggered the ghost meter, I was able to take down the Khan right away again in this final boss fight. With oh, that guy's also running away. I don't know how many people are terrified, honestly. Uh, and then here they come again. So, with multiple enemies, I don't have to always use flaming. Look at all the people that are scared. <laughs> here comes the uh, way of the flame. So, now this guy's scared. Oh, that guy's scared too. I think of this sequence, I have probably scared over maybe 10 enemies. So now it's just a constant 1v1 fight against the Khan. But it is lethal mode, so two hits, I'm down. But remember, there's another guy running away. I started this fight with no resolve, and by the end, I already had four or five. So pretty much everybody runs away from the Khan. They left him to uh, go down on his own. There's another guy running away. I actually never know. Oh my god, there's two more. And there's another one. So this is an incredible endgame build, there, you will not find a better one on YouTube. So if you enjoyed this, please like and share. And I hope you enjoyed Ghost of Tsushima as much as I did. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the builds. I don't think I can top this one. This is probably the best build. So thanks for coming in and I look forward to talking to you guys again very soon.